Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do daily readings for individual signs for the 26th of August 2024. In these top line readings we will look at the energies and messages for the day to come. As always, take what resonates, this won't be for everyone. So without further ado, let's get straight into these readings. Libra, let's see what we have for you. Libra Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. Let's see what we have for the day to come. Message for Libra, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Libra need to hear? Fear, number five, energy. I think you're understanding something here. Let's see what we have for you. What do we I think that you're figuring something out. I mean, when we have that sense of fear, there's something to be learnt, isn't there? It's a reaction. But when we kind of understand the root cause of that, it, it just feels like there's something to be learnt here for your highest good for positive change let's see what we have for you two cards is your angel message number two that number might resonate with you this is a message from your angels to be diplomatic and compassionate toward your fellow brothers and sisters speak your truth to them through your divine light and life's purpose. Remember to maintain harmony within so that it can be displayed outward in your world. So, harmony. Four, five, five, five. That number might resonate with you. You are in the most, you are in the midst of significant transformations in your life. Remember that you have the freedom to make all the decisions you need to reap the rewards of your harvest. Let's see what we have for you, Libra. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Day to come. Angel Spirits Guides. The Seven of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. So the Seven of Wands, the energy that I'm getting here, Libra, is I think that you're dealing with something here. You're holding firm on a position and it looks like you're having the conversation that you know you need to have here. It's like you're wanting to sort something out once and for all. And again, whatever that fear or doubt or uncertainty is, this these cards are about sorting something out that you, you knew. I mean, you might have let something go before. You could see that in a workplace. I mean, sometimes that seven of wands, it can be about when, you know, we're challenged or undermined or people are kind of like, you know, snipping at the heels kind of energy, you know, stepping at the heels or... Um, because it can be a sign of success, but, you know, even new success even, but it comes with new challenges, you know. So this can be when you're in a kind of a position of power in some way, or you've got to a certain position. This can be where 
other people who might have also wanted to go for that position or weren't happy in terms of you winning that position in some way, certainly in business career finances, um, you've, ha you've had to defend yourself, you know, or you've had to deal with or fend off or um, hold firm in terms of your position. But before that, you might have just let something go. You might have thought, you know what, it's not worth it. I'm not going to deal with it. Let's just let it go. But then now I think that you're making a stance and you're facing something and you're dealing with it and you're having those conversations here. It could be with a person or people to sort it out. And I think with the Five of Swords, you're, you're sorting it out once and for all. And very successfully. Because this can be about... Sometimes it just feels that sense of uh, a conflict in some way that clears the air. Now, yes, you could have that with family. Yes, you could have that with a friendship group. You could have that with terms of love, romance, relationships. It's the same kind of energy. So it feels in this scenario here that you know that you've needed to deal with a person or people. You know that you've needed to take something in hand. But when you do, here Libra, when you take something in hand, you're coming at this from being in a very powerful position. Um, and I think that you're having those conversations here. And those conversations are, are kind of they're almost bringing that sense of forward movement here that are resolving something once and for all. Is what I see for you. Free will, I mean, you'll know, you'll intuitively know. It takes bravery, most certainly, to do this, but um, it feels like you're having the conversations and resolving it once, once and for all. It could even be here, Libra, if there's an issue at work, again, where you're feeling constantly challenged and so on and so forth, or someone's just not being fair to you in some way. You might be talking to other people as well. It could be, you know, up the ladder as well to sort something out as well. But it does feel like that's going to be resolved. I mean, free will. You decide ultimately what um, you want to do and it has to feel right. You know, with the seven of wands, it's a timely thing. We know, we know it's time to make a stand. It's time to hold our course. It's time to, to face something, you know, so... This from a position of power. So this is what I see for you. But you can see that in other life areas as well. I think that you're resolving something either way. The key is communication, I think. Yeah, as I said, hold the vision, trust the process. Yeah. Beneath that, yeah, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. Yeah, I think that you're taking a stand. But free will has to feel right for you. These are general readings. But we have victory here, you know, as a result. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.